Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, a machine whose clock runs only on island time. And it is time for the next episode of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. So, without further ado, we're going to go talk to the ghost of a fish. A visitor at the end of the world. Take in the view before oblivion. Who are you? Everything and nothing. The sum of this island. A sick little reminder of what must not be allowed. Do you have a name? Makas Slan Regalath. Oh, is this a demon? That's, um... That's definitely how demons are named. Mika, then. Thank you for coming to see me. This is a dying place, but manners are important. Well, it costs you nothing to be polite to a ghost. What are you doing here? Right now, I want to ask you some questions. You're an investigator. I want you to investigate things. There will be rewards. How did you know I was an investigator? I am entwined with these apartments. I feel the life breath of them. They're a bad place. More bad than most. Things have happened here. And why do you need things investigating? The desire to know. I came here a long time ago. I possessed this body. It was a mistake. I managed to avoid all manners of hooks and bait while I waited for the island to end. Please tell me about things you have found. Fine, what do you want to know? I thirst for missing knowledge. Why did people play dominoes on this island? I can tell by the look in your eye that you do not know the answer. Please find dominoes so that you may learn something and come back to me. Well, I'll be honest, I was expecting the fish ghost to be wanting basically nothing other than the fish food we found nearby. Kind of intriguing, because um, this is clearly a demon. It spoke about possessing someone and it is named like demons are named. But um, LLD did not seem particularly upset by its presence. Uh, or seem to think that it shouldn't be here or anything like that. So, what's up with that? That's real strange. But, um, yeah. I wonder if it's got something to do with the demon experiments that were in, in the, uh, the Forbidden Dead Zone. I always think people without hobbies are natural murderers. If you have nothing to occupy the mind, it is natural to turn to murder. That's chilling, right? Scary, that the guy next to you at work who doesn't have a hobby might cut you open. That's quite the logical leap. Can you prove I'm wrong? It's basic criminal science, love dies. Get it together. Laters. Well, the idea that people, people turn to criminality out of boredom is... If that's an intentional, like, conceptual point that this game wants to make, I'm highly critical of that, because that's not really how it works at all. People turn to crime when they don't have any better option. Um, assuming that the crime that they're turning to is one that should even be criminalized in the first place. Discarded pistachios. Good to crack open and focus on while you're thinking about a problem. I wonder what problems were being thought about on this roof. Probably the extremely mundane ones of being a, a horrible, miserable slave in a society that's uh, destroying you. Ah, oh, the yellow crest fits up here. And it has granted me a shrine somewhere down there. Okay. Probably worth hopping down to get that, but... Um, if we head down via the other building, we can save the effort of climbing back up again. And I'm all about doing as little effort as possible. As will be. Evidenced by this let's play. Uh, that's self-deprecating humour. I actually put a lot of work into these. Which is why you should uh, think about donating to me. Be a Kofi or Patreon. There it is. That's my one plug. That's all you're going to get. Link's in the description. Check it all out. Anyway. Efficacious chilies. Looks like someone was growing chilies up here. So, I do find myself really curious about the uh, physical nature of this world. It's a paradise in which everyone is immortal, or at least the syndicate are immortal. But also, people still need to eat food and drink water, and... You know, the things that they eat come from the agri-fields, mostly. Except that there is also fish being grown on this rooftop. 
oh well, I mean fish being kept on that rooftop. There's people growing their own chilies and so on. Obviously it's important to, you know, everybody has their passion and sometimes your passion isn't the thing you get to be your job. And in a better world, the vast majority of people would be able to pursue their passions and not have to work retail to justify it or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I've kind of got lost in, lost in my own conversation there because that happens sometimes because I'm bad at thinking nowadays. But yeah, um, I think that the idea that the idea that human beings need to have passions and be allowed to pursue them in order to be able to exist in this world is a fundamentally true one. Um, I mean, I very rarely meet someone who doesn't have a passion for something. It's always delightful to me whenever I meet someone who's like, you know, they're working retail or whatever, but they're, they're, they're actually extremely passionate about, uh, I don't know, like wildlife remediation or the history of 13th century uh, fabric weaving, you know. Like, I love that. I love that people are just allowed to have interests and, and develop those interests, but though it's just as valuable if that interest is, say, football. Crying grudge. Nearly killed by the Persian army at the Battle of Beyond Revenge, body was paraded across the country and displayed above the palace in Shushatra Zero. The tears of the god fertilized the ground and the city became a sea of lilies. Syndicate members stole the god back and burned the city to the ground. The god has been moved from island to island ever since, guarded in a pyramid. Okay, so that pyramid over there must be the residence of that god that's just been mentioned. Or, oh, wait, there's two pyramids. One of these pyramids has a glowy thingy above it that we can't quite see right now, so I'm going to assume that's the one that actually has a god in it and the rest have prepared for the coming of later gods, because that is the god that I believe it was mentioned is the only one they've ever successfully repatriated to this place. Which, uh, so it's, it seems reasonable that the only pyramid that has magical glowing stuff above it is the one that's got a god in it. The Let Me Get It On Bop by Apoc. A dance under the gaze of demons. You can feel their eyes bulging from concrete. Let them watch. Let them lust. Not my favourite one. It's a little bit too uh, background of the comic relief characters of the an you know background music for when the comic relief characters in the anime you're watching are doing something tedious. Parallel red. That seems cool. I would absolutely drink a drink of parallel red, but I would do it pretentiously. You know, people could we would be able to tell that I was only. Drinking Parallel Red because it's named Parallel Red. Parallel Red. A blend of different fruits and vegetables, full of vitamins and minerals, often drunk morning after the night before. Huh. More valid as a hangover cure than most, I will give it that. So from up here we can see, let's see. I think I've investigated this row of houses and those ones over there. Uh, and up to this garden. I've investigated that garden and that tower block, but not the ones further that way. Uh, oh look, there's a gem up there that I can't be bothered to get because there's a million other goddamn things and I've got plenty of them for the time being. And then we've investigated <coughs> the other of these two paired tower blocks. There's just some items to grab on the way down and then at the other end of here there's the seafront which may have some stuff we've missed to find and the seafront going around that way as well has some items on it that I want to go pick up. So let's work our way back down. And hope, against hope, that we don't miss any interesting items on the way. Although this again runs me back into the idea I keep bringing up of, um, oh, a ghost. Yes, the recurring idea of a ghost. They started here, dragged through the building towards the ocean. But then where? Who started here? Did they go into the sewers? No, that doesn't make sense. Maybe straight into the ocean, but why? What are you talking about? They must have left some clue. A clue to what? Huh? Oh, I didn't see you. Step aside, please. I'm trying to find my neighbor. Maybe I can help. I'm an investigator. Yes, maybe. But they were dragged to the beach, so where did they go from there? Somewhere out of sight. Under cover, maybe. Maybe I should try and help them look for whatever it is. Whatever it is might be somewhere covered on the beach. I found this under the pit. Hmm, what? 
Wait, is that? It is. Finally, I have proof that my neighbor was murdered. The god justice marshals weren't interested in helping me. They said it was an accident, but I knew it was murder. I guess I'll never know who did it. I suppose it doesn't really matter now, does it? It's not justice, but at least I have some peace now. Please, take these. Do not let citizen murders go uninvestigated. Maintaining a uh, pretty good track record for preemptively helping ghosts. I do wonder... Actually, let's grab this first. Relic obtained. Inquisitive apartment murder report. A newspaper with an article about a string of dismemberments within the apartments. They often happen during the height of summer. People living in cramped conditions give in to dark desires. I mean, to some extent it's true that people put in absolutely miserable conditions, lacking, um, lacking an external outlet for that misery may, may turn on one another, but it's a really cynical view where very often those people may also turn to like intense solidarity and forge, you know, meaningful resistances out of it. Um, obviously, in this existential hyperspace uh, time bubble, that's less viable than in real life, where if there are enough of you, you can just uh, overturn the problem. But um, yeah, I do think it's I do think it's flawed to kind of imply that like. Oh, their conditions are miserable, therefore they're all turning on each other, and not really consider the whole fact that their conditions don't have to be like this. Extrinsic fossil. A fossil of an alien being. The earth is covered in these. A citizen must have brought it with them. Hmm. Alright, Shinji, fine. What's up? How's your day going, love dies? Having a good time? Having a blast? Investigation is in my blood. That's the spirit? Screw the murdered council, as long as you're getting your fun. That's not what I meant. Later's gotta shoot. What, is, what does that mean? See you later, love dies. I've got to go come. There it is, the first come joke of this entire series, which uh, is kind of surprising that it took this long, really, and kind of surprising that it wasn't that good. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what was I going to do? I was going to go talk to Crimson Acid next, but I do want to grab these things down here before I forget that they're there and move on. Oh, is that a Gatrapon? Hell yeah, I love Gatrapon. Cute Tamago phone charm. Cute hamster friend. Tamago was the star of a popular four-panel comic a citizen drew. That's pretty cute, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. The gold plate cries out for light. Is that... Is that the hint to solve the puzzle that I had already solved? The gold plate cries out for light. Yeah, I'm not sure which god this is. I could probably find out by cross-referencing the information I've picked up from previous tablets. But I'm not gonna, because uh, frankly, I've um, you know I've spent so much time wandering around and rambling and mumbling and bumbling and not really thinking about my actual goddamn job here today. Uh, because, as I've said before, there is kind of a, a, a ludonarrative dissonance problem in this game. I think that the two halves of the game really don't gel together very well. They don't... they don't tally, they don't fit. Um, and instead of, instead of contributing to a greater whole, it feels like two different games at the same time to their detriment. I don't think it makes sense half of the time, the things I do and the places I explore. Desirable Bear-chan phone charm. Bear-chan, a famous dog on the island that saved a man's life. I wonder whose life Bear-chan saved? Um, but yeah, like... I think that the writing of the, uh... 
visual novel half of the game is extremely weak, but also the primary driving factor that's supposed to pull you through the game is the sequence of events uh, that are in that half of the game. I think what this game wants is for me to talk to a person, get a hint that I should talk to someone else and go to that person and investigate what I see on the way. However, the interesting world and the fun items all over the place incline me to, you know, explore on the way. I'll be traveling somewhere and I'll see something interesting and um, on my way there I'll, I'll go get distracted. I'll be like, okay, I need to go talk to that guy. That guy's near the Agri Gardens. I'll go to the Agri Gardens. Grubby skimming runes. An old superstition says that skimming runestones into the sea is a way to ease the consequences of your actions. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, and then I'll find myself going, oh, look, there's a puzzle here. I'll solve this puzzle. Even though it doesn't make sense for her to solve that puzzle at that time. Because there is no reason to assume that that puzzle is related to what's going on. We know as players that almost everything on this island is going to be related to the plot in some way because that's how video games do. But it doesn't make sense for people within the setting to know that or to behave like that. Love dies. We have the suspect in custody. You are not necessary. So why are you calling? I'm under orders to cooperate with you, Nenorisito. Ah, uh, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Who's giving you your orders? Judge has assumed authority while this crisis is resolved. Haven't you been briefed? Are you just wandering around without a clue? Oh. <laughs> well, funny you should mention that. We have a suspect that was found with the murder weapon. He has a motive and history. He was found with the council's blood in his stomach. We're not making a super collider here, Nenorosito. Henry broke free, tore through the prison bridge, breached the holy seals and murdered the council. Case closed, investigator. I hope that this is as simple as it appears. The suspect is back under inhibitor sedation. Inhibitor sedation? Demi putir. Inhibitors are injected into him to keep him sedated. Go ask Doomjaz if you want to know more. I am guarding the suspect at the desolation cell on the rock if you need to speak to me again. The control panel to raise the bridge has been updated to accept your blood vial. Only I have access to, Only I have access to the prison, but Judge has ordered me to authorise you. The bridge across the prison is on the south beach. Thank- Goodbye, Nenorisito. New case file. An investigation into the heart of madness begins. Lady Love Dies must find the facts and assemble the truth. The road to her truth will be a long one. The journey will be hard. The light of her truth glows dimly, but with facts it will shine bright. Henry's escape. Henry allegedly escaped during his execution, broke through the prison bars and headed to the council building, murdering the martial guards, traversing the holy seals and killing the council before being apprehended at the scene. Wait, what? So, hang on, why was he, um... So I've got that phone call because I've gotten close enough to the place where the bridge is raised that, that she's sent me a message to be like, hey, fuck you. Uh, how about you fuck off and stop trying to investigate this extremely obvious crime? This is a work of art. The integrity of the syndicate is the canvas and a knife is the brush. Is it modern art? Abstract? Formal? Who can say? I always hated art. Anyway, gotta run. <laughs> can anyone else see him or is he just for me? Um, anyway, so... <clears throat> yeah, um... I can't remember what I was going to say, but it is extremely suspicious how desperate she is for me to not investigate this crime. But also, I find myself wondering... Uh, Henry Division did his crime, what, a hundred years ago? A thousand years ago? And he's been held ever since. Why was his execution finally, finally happening? Relic Dazzling Obelisk Charm. A charm modelled after obelisks found on a citadel planet in another solar system. Because, like, if they were going to kill him for his supposed crime, why were they waiting literally decades? Uh, and if they weren't going to kill him, why did they suddenly change their mind? Last Dance XX by Apoc. You spun me around. I wanted it to last forever. We were roller skating. I never wanted to take them off. The setting sun sparkled on the ocean. Hmm. Let's 
see. This is uh, oh, this is the backside of this garden which we found a long time ago. I want to say, maybe. I think I took a shortcut through here at one point. D4, the most uncomfortable kind of uh, polyhedral dice to slap. Cool melon. A slightly sweet melon-flavoured soda best enjoyed on a summer's day, under a tree, fearing the last drop and having to return to whatever it was you were doing. I th I yeah, I've lit this I've lit this shrine, so I've been through this garden previously. I just missed the uh, cabinet, I guess. Drink? Cabinet? That's not what it's called. And I've unlocked this fast travel, which means that yes, so we've looped back around to somewhere we've been previously now. Because this over here leads up to the main the main stretch. Yeah, over there I've explored thoroughly, so. Uh wow, I got completely distracted from what my, what my goal was going to be today. And have in fact done none of the things that I was supposed to do. It's just like in real life. Whoops. Where you fall in the canal accidentally. I've never actually fallen in a canal in real life, although I've come close a few times. There's a really nice, uh, really nice places you can walk in London near the Regent's Canal. Um, anyway, that's a total aside and completely irrelevant. So, yes, this is the dock. So after looking at the dock, I should come back and investigate these two buildings. Or indeed, go fucking talk to Crimson Acid like I've been intending to for literally, what, two, three episodes now? <laughs> completely failing every step of the way. How do I get in there? Hey asshole, let me in. What do you want, freak? What's your deal? Security. After last night I'm here to man the bridge controls. Why? These are the only controls. The Grand Marshal is guarding the killer. If he escapes again, which he won't, I'm here to raise the bridge. Good, just in time. I'm glad Paradise is safe now. But I need to raise the bridge. I'm supposed to- oh, aha, it's just open at one end. <laughs> So we should be able to open this one fairly easily. What I need to do is match the parts of the symbols to match the uh, the thing itself. So I'm just going to solve this real quick. And that's all done. So that should raise bridge. Which now means I can't leave apparently, which is a little bit irritating. I thought, oh, okay. There's just a straight up hole in it. These bars on the prison bridge have been destroyed. I presume this is how Henry got out. The desolation cell is connected to the mainland by this bridge. There's some residue. I'll run it through starlight. Residue sample 68.7 thermite, 29% barium nitrate, 2% sulfur, 0.3% polybutadiene, acrylonitrate. No traces of unknown chemicals found. Starlight says this is thermite. It doesn't seem to be demonic in nature. Someone may have melted through these bars. Yeah, so this is yet more evidence that, that Henry's being completely fucking set up. Like, this isn't demon stuff, this is just someone busted it open with normal, normal capacities. This door leads to the barracks. It's a secure tunnel to the desolation cell where Henry is incarcerated. It's only coded to Aikiko's blood vial. So there is a back way into the barracks. Um... And the only way into this pipe would be Aikiko, so it seems like Aikiko is probably the prominent suspect for cutting these bars, although you could just do that from the outside, but, you know, uh, the traditional... Okay, so the traditional um, detective's insight is like, look, you can see that these were busted from the inside, right? Not from the outside. It's exactly like finding glass on the inside of a window or the outside of a window and being able to tell which direction it was broken from, except that... Uh, thermite is not actually an explosive. Um, thermite is a non-explosive compound which simply burns very, very, very hard. You put thermite on something and ignite it, and there is no there's no pressure wave, there's no force, it just it just melts. Uh, which means that it should be vertical, not not um, pressed outwards one way or the other. 
This is another problem that we've run into with detective fiction in video games where we have to think, is this just a mistake that the person who wrote this made? Or is that part of the mystery? Absurd message stones. Stones painted by children before they go to the slaughter ritual. They make wishes for their next life. Citizens do not have a next life. Wow, that's probably the single most fucked up thing we've discovered about the society so far. Uh, man, that's that's just extremely messed up. Um, right, so... C3? Okay. There can't be many more of these left, surely. Lost Mountain Water. Beautifully clear water once obtained from a well on an ancient mountain. The mountain was lost millennia ago. The water has never tasted the same since. I wonder if that's one of the mountains mentioned in one of the previous, uh... The mementos of previous islands. What is this building? Descriptive River Power Station Schedule. The work schedule for the River Power Station. This station helps distribute energy from the reality folding drive. Okay. So this is a power substation then. Which appears to be connected to something. Where's this guy? Oh, that's that gate down below, which I already opened. Okay, um, I'm fucking losing my mind. I was supposed to talk to people today, and instead I all I have done is wander around and make a few important discoveries with regards to solving this mystery, but um, I still haven't gone and spoken to Crimson Acid. I'm calling it now, folks. I'm 100% doing that. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go stand right next to Crimson Acid's location and go talk to her next time. And then I will go and talk to Aikiko as well. And then perhaps we'll start making some progress on this investigation. So here we are. This is where we need to go. This is where we're going to investigate. That's what we'll do next episode. And then we will start also looking at these other tower blocks afterwards. But that's going to be it from me for today. I'm sorry that this was kind of a scatterbrained... Uh, extremely wander and distraction prone episode. I am uh, having bad allergies, which means that I am extremely distractible and, you know, distraction prone. Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.